Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In today's video, we're just going to take our first look at Garmin's Vivo Fit 3 Activity Tracker. So this is an activity tracking watch, similar to the older Vivo Fits, but with a few new features. So what will this watch do for you? And we'll have a look at the watch as well in closer detail. So I'm just going to move the box out of the way and the little manual that it comes with. And actually what we'll do, we'll prop the watch up on top of the box for a better view. So the watch itself comes in various colours and strap styles. We've got the black rubber strap with this unit here today. Lots of interchangeable watch bands available from Garmin. You can simply pop the actual body of the watch out of the strap and put a new strap um, that sits in around the actual watch body. So nice and easy to change straps. Lots of different choices available on Garmin's website. It's a nice, comfortable, soft strap. What's changed on the strap from the older units, we now have this new dial locking mechanism. So when you first get it out of the box, you'll see the red, the little colouring red on the dial, which means you can take the strap apart to get it out of the box. So when you've got it on your wrist and you've got it set where you want it, so I'm just going to pop the strap on here just so you can see it in place. So that's the inside of the strap there. You turn the dial so that you get rid of that red colouring to show that it's locked in place and that's it now locked in place. So I'm just going to open the dial again, take that back out there and turn the watch back round. So it's got the nice interchangeable straps with that locking dial. As we'd expect with a fitness tracking watch, it is waterproof so you can use it for swimming. It's been tested to a rating of 5 ATM. The battery on the unit, it's a one year battery, it's simply taking the unit out of the strap in a little Phillips screwdriver on the back of the unit and it's just a standard style watch battery that you put in the unit. But on average you get about a year's battery life out of the unit so there's no charging cable required, you don't get a charging cable with it. And because the unit syncs with the Garmin Connect app for your fitness data using Bluetooth, you don't need a cable again to connect to your, your phone or your iPad that you might have that Connect app on. It's also got a backlight on this new unit. So if I hold the button in, so I'll just go through, touching the button, going through the different screens, we actually get the backlight come on. So we've got a backlight on the actual unit that we didn't have on the old unit. Backlight there, holding the button down, backlight back on. So that's the little button below the screen, holding it down, we get the backlight on, or we can simply press that button to scroll between the different menus, which we'll take a look at shortly. So it's got the backlight. Also, it has an alarm function now because it has tone noises, the tone noises that you get as an alert if you're using the settings to remind you to move. Um, for the fitness side of things, you can actually set an alarm if you want to use it as an alarm clock on your wrist from the Garmin Connect app that you may have on your phone. So that's something we didn't have on the older units. So the sort of things it will measure on the actual unit, it will measure your steps, it will give you a display of what distance you've travelled, how many calories you've burnt based on information you put in about yourself and based on the steps that you've done and the intensity of those steps. It does have a screen that will show you how many minutes in the day you've done some real intense training um, as well as just the standard steps, distance travelled and the calories. So that's the sort of information we get on the screen. It'll also detect what sort of activity you're doing automatically, whether it'll be walking, running, cycling, swimming or the other one it has in its preset, what it'll recognise, elliptical uh, walking but you can in the unit press the start button to start recording when you're doing an activity then stop it at the end rather than using this automatic setting and it will give you goals on when to move and also it monitors your sleep pattern as well so what we're going to do first before we actually look at the screens is just quickly pair it with the Garmin Connect app so you've got an idea of what the Connect app is and how we pair the unit now I've already had this unit turned on normally when you first turn the unit on you only get a couple of screens by pressing the button below the screen and the one you're normally looking for if I actually hold it in now you should get the option sorry we just started it there by mistake so I'm just going to Stop that recording, hold it in. I need to hold the button in, keep it held in, 
we get the sink and now we get the pair that's what we're looking for the pair so if you have actually turned the unit on and had it paired before been using the unit and you need to repair it you would hold the button in until you get the wording pair on the screen when you first get this unit and you take it out for the first time and use that button at the bottom to turn it on one of the only options you get between the two screens when you use this button at the bottom is pair so you make sure you've got it on pair now i'm just going to bring the phone across now we're using an iphone here today so we'll just get the iphone open and I'm not sure I understand. There we go, got the iPhone open now. I'm just going to close the connect app down just so we're starting from scratch. So on the phone, you make sure you've got Bluetooth turned on on your phone and you go to the App Store and you download something called Garmin Connect if you're not already using it. So you just search in the App Store for Garmin Connect and then you end up with this Garmin Connect icon on your phone so if I go into this app now normally when you first go into the app it'll ask you to put in account details create an account with Garmin if you don't already have one or put your email address and password for Garmin if you already have an account put some few basic settings in we've already done that so we're now ready to detect the device so on the iPhone version of the app we've got a bottom menu that says more and we can search for devices, so if I search for Garmin devices, we did have the original, the old Vivo Fit on here, but we want to put it on the new Vivo Fit 3, so I can go add device, select Vivo Fit 3, and then it tells you to select the pair on the screen of your Vivo Fit 3, so as we showed earlier, I'll just do it again, I'm going to hold the button down on the watch below the screen, keep it held in until you see pair, and then you leave it on pair and then on the actual phone on the app where it says start we just simply press start and then it gives me a code number and wants you to confirm that's the code number that you're seeing on the screen i can see underneath pair here we're getting the number 7584 flashing up so we've got that on the app now so i just say yes to confirm that's the number that we're seeing and then we'll just let this sync and pair. So we've got a little circular symbol on the screen of the watch at the minute with a little red bar going across the top to show that it's pairing. And again, on the app, we've got this white bar going across just to say that it's pairing. Once it's paired, you can use all the full features of the watch. So it's now saying that it's paired and the watch has been updated and setup is complete. Sometimes when you first do this for the first time, it will actually press the button on the watch to sync it, which I'm gonna show you once we come out of this initial screen. You get a choice on here of what type of display you want on the watch. So you can select an analog or a digital, couple of different options there. I'm just gonna make sure we've got the digital one selected this time round and say next. And then it's in based on your previous answers this is where you put in data about yourself it'll set up goals of targets for steps or you can go in and edit those goals now so i'm just going to say skip there so it's now saying to sync the device to press and hold that button underneath the screen so to sync the device this time i'm going to hold the button under the screen until i see the word sync and then let go circular disk on the screen now and that should be syncing with the app and we can see on the app it's got the symbol of a watch and a phone to show that it's syncing you sync it every time you want to update your steps and activity to the app so we'll just give that a chance to sync and then once that's finished everything will be updated on the unit it'll actually update the software in the unit as well if there's any new software updates at the same time and then basically we're ready to go with the watch once we've done the syncing with the app so we'll just give this app a chance to sync. It's the first time we've done this syncing, so it may just take a little bit longer the first time. The unit will normally store up to four weeks of activity, so I would make sure on a regular basis that you bring it close to your phone, turn on the app and run the syncing. So we're just going to leave that syncing, and then once that's synced, we'll go back onto the watch and we'll go through the screens and have a look at the screens on the watch. But it is a nice, lightweight comfortable slim watch to wear we're going to do some more videos once um, we've had it tested and it's been used um, by some staff in the office for some of their fitness activities and then we can give you some feedback on how they found it and actually show you some data in the actual app so with this syncing for the very first time and doing a software update we have got the message on the screen to say this is going to take 10 minutes so what we're going to do i'm just going to pause this video while that's doing the update and then we'll come back and finish off and have a look at the screens on the watch Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training again, just part two of this video. We can now see that the update has finished and we've got finish on the screen of the app. So we can just touch on the finish there on the app. 
and now if we go to the watch we can actually take a closer look at the screens so now on the watch we've actually got the, we'll just get the backlight on there you just hold it in for a couple of seconds the button underneath the screen for the backlight so we've now got the time 445 and it's got the date at the bottom there 26th of September and then simply pressing the button we get our steps at the bottom that we've done so far we get at the bottom this is the little bar underneath the digital display um, so we're getting our steps. The target automatically when you first get the watch, I think the default target if you don't set it was 7,500. So the next screen showing you what you've got to go to reach your target for the day. Just move it. We then get the distance that you've done, so how far you've travelled, depending on whether the settings in the app where you can set it is feet or kilometres and metres. So we get the distance that you've travelled. Keep going down the screens, we get the amount of calories that you've burned. If I move down once more, intensity minutes is how many intense minutes of activity you've done that day. We haven't got anything there at the moment. And then we're back to the date again. So that's the sort of information you see in that bar at the bottom of the screen. What's nice when you've done any activities and you sync it with the actual app. So if I go back to the app now, that's the best place to view things. So app, nice big screen on the app. So we'll just bring the app back open and we can now see just on the first screen of the app here it's showing us our steps. Sleep, we won't have any sleep recorded yet. That'll start from tonight if we start wearing this watch all the time. And that's where we get the sort of information, calories that you've done. And you can start looking at the app in closer detail to get a lot more information off the app. There's various bars and graphs that you can get up on the app based on distances, activities you've done. We've got nothing in here at the moment. Obviously, we haven't started using the watch, but this is where we'll start seeing all of our data that we've done. And also, you know, steps there. We'll get a graph based on our steps. We get the sleep and everything on the app. So we'll just go back to the main screen. But under here, when I go back to the more and devices, this is where we can actually change settings in our watch. So if I go on to the Vivo Fit 3 there, this is where we can sync it by, again, as we did earlier, we hold the button in until we see sync on the screen and it'll upload the data for anything we've done that day. But here we can go into device settings and we can set alarm clocks, whether we want alert tones on the device um we can go into this move iq whether we want it to give us this you need to move now so you can go in and change lots of settings in the unit so this is where you do all the settings of how you'd like the calendar whether you prefer miles or kilometers it's all done from the app in the device settings and that's where we go in and change our user settings as well and put information in about ourselves, our age date of birth etc so that all goes in there and that's how it works out uh, an estimate of calories you've burned based on the steps and other information that you add into the app so in all the apps a great thing to pair with the watch and use with the watch so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video it's just a quick overview just to show you what you get with the watch and the sort of information that you can put into the connect app and we'll do some further videos showing the unit uh, after it's been used and with some of that data in the app and get some feedback off the staff who have been using the unit for their various activities. Accessories available for the, the watch. We mentioned there's different watch bands. There's a belt clip available for it if you don't want to wear it on your wrist. And they do do the additional heart rate monitor. That is a heart rate strap that you can put on your chest. Otherwise the watch itself won't monitor your heart rate. So I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching. On our GPS store under www.gpstraining.co.uk you'll find the watches this watch under the fitness devices on our GPS store and thanks for watching.